in answer to your question about Peter Hall's contribution, which was massive in all directions, it looked wonderfully elegant and he presided brilliantly over the whole evening. But in Washington, he supported this terrific uh, work of refining and refining and approaching the climax of the play by brilliantly staging or, 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 or brilliantly staging all the versions that I did, all five or six, but particularly the last one when he moved in and uh, staged the eating of the manuscript brilliantly with and the tearing off of the mask, not as a bad director would have done it from the front, but from the back of lifting it up from behind with this man sitting there chewing the Kyrie in his mouth. I mean, it was an extraordinary image. And Peter can be relied on to find a great image many times. And he did in that. There were many striking images. I loved all the projections in it, the most beautiful projections of the Prata and the Masonic Lodge, just an emblem hung above the stage. It all looked so beautiful. I loved the idea of an ice blue plastic set, but it was plastic that just shone. So you could see the reflections of the actors, those gilded, encrusted courtiers moving about on the stage and you saw their reflections underneath like figures in a great frozen pond. It was marvelous. I loved it. I loved the look of it. I loved the fact that uh, a candle was lit at the very beginning of the play and burnt all the evening on the uh, clavier in the corner, the instrument in the corner, uh, just guttering away during the, uh, the, the death of Mozart, just going out uh, at the end of that. And then in, in the ensuing black mood and black light of the play, Salieri coming forward and saying, I was born a pair of ears and nothing else. And starting on the end of the play, in that atmosphere of ruin, gutted candles, and apparent oblivion for Mozart, but then the music, Mozart's music conquering at the end. You ended with the last four chords of the Masonic funeral music. And Peter saw very clearly the same vision, and physicalized it and made it work. He's the most patient and the most admirable and imaginative of, and calm of directors. He's not, I'm sure, calm inside. I'm sure he's a furnace of creativity, but he has, in his long and creative life, discovered the most wonderful calm in, the, in, an, in, in a rehearsal situation.